Yeah. So we weren't 100 yards from a truck and Java put up this woodcock mm -hmm. and it flew about 30 yards and I saw it land in this little clearing at the top end of this hollow, just on the other side of this brush. So we, Java and I eased up on there and she was downwind because the way she was acting, she could smell this bird. And she locked up on point right Ooh. here. And that little clearing in front of her is just where I saw Ooh. the woodcock land. So we're both convinced that that's where the bird is. When I stepped up in there, nothing flushed, didn't see anything. She started to relocate, moved up, got another whiff of it. And on the third time, unconvinced, this is where she saw that bird running. Now, I know yeah. woodcock have short little legs, but I'm always amazed at how fast they can move through the brush and woods. I thought it was still there, but in hindsight, that bird was probably on the move right now, and if I'd have just busted in in front of her, uh, probably could have got it up, but I tried to outflank it, thinking that she had it pinned down, and when I made it over to the side, it I heard it take off. I never did see it. I think you took off, Java. So, lesson learned, moved on. We went down into the wet part of the creek bottom, really good looking habitat there. there's usually birds when when the flights are coming through Whoa. and all of a sudden she bails up to the top of this hill on the edge of some a prairie grass field and she goes on point and I'm thinking well I know there's quail on this property this is uh, more public land that we're hunting and I've hunted it for quail and I'm thinking could be what she's found a covey up there so Eased up, eased up, got between some trees, and out it goes. Dropped it on the second shot. Woodcock. I'm not sure, Java. Let's go check and, it out. And uh, reloaded my uh, 410 auto loader, and just as I moved up, Java Whoa. bumped another nope. one. So she actually had wind of two oh. birds, and the second one held. I didn't take a Go shot at it because uh -huh. I still wanted to keep the mark on the first Let's bird. That one's dead. Come here. Come here. So moved out dead. into the prairie grass. Dead bird. Really tough place to find a dead bird. So. Dead bird. A good dog like Java is just invaluable to have. Dead. And I could tell from the way she was acting that she had oh. scent of this bird. And then she locks up. Get him. And, uh. Get him. It was probably at this point I figured it was a wounded bird and it was still moving around burrowing down underneath the grass. And Get him, it Java. popped out and good girl. she nailed it. Good First right woodcock here. of the season. Good, here. Java. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Number one. You drink? So we went back down to the bottom of the creek bed, actually in the creek, cooled off a little bit, and headed to a spot that has some really good thick woodcock cover. And along the way we stopped to admire some sites, pretty healthy raccoon population living down here. And these twisted vines on these saplings, I've seen people make uh, walking sticks out of them with the Ooh. vines attached. Pretty cool. So this area, it has some decent openings, but it's mostly very, very thick cover. Lots of green briar, 
and before long Java locks up on point and the challenge down in areas like this is picking your route to get to your dog so that you'll have a shot when the bird flushes so let's watch what happens actually got it on the first shot I had no idea if the bird was hit later after looking at the footage a little closer I could all see it got. fall but this was all up to Java now Out there. Big bird. There, good girl. Are you here? Come. 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 Java. Come. 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 Good girl. Okay, good girl. 